Lesson 7. Responding to Mouse Clicks To follow along with this lesson, you will need the project from Win32 Lesson 1. In this lesson, we are going to explain how to respond to mouse click events. This will give us another way to receive and process user input. Mouse click events happen when the user presses a mouse button with the cursor inside the client area of the window. The client area is this large white rectangle in the middle of the window. We will begin by adding code to handle left mouse button clicks. When the left mouse button is pressed inside of the client area, a message of type WM L button down is sent to the message queue. Along with this message type are the other parameters that we talked about in Win32 Lesson 3. The parameters for the message are passed into the WinProc function and include the arguments WParam and LParam. These two parameters are often used to carry extra information about the event. For mouse button down events, the parameter LParam holds the coordinates of where the cursor was when the mouse button was pressed. The coordinate system for mouse clicks inside of the window has its origin located in the upper left hand corner of the client area. The X coordinate increases from left to right and the Y coordinate increases from top to bottom. By default, the units are in pixels. Using the project from Win32 Lesson 1, scroll down to the WinProc function at line 135 of the file win32lesson1.cpp. At line 143, Add the following lines of code to handle left mouse button clicks. This case statement is executed when the left mouse button is pressed. The first two lines extract the coordinates of the cursor when the button was pushed. The low word and high word macros take care of this for us. In the next line, we declare an array of wide characters to hold the coordinates as a string. This array is filled with a Unicode string that is generated by a call to the wsprintf function in the next line. This function works just like sprintf, except that it uses wide character strings. Percent %i is used to designate the locations in the string where the values i pos x and i pos y will be inserted. The end result of the function call is that the array wa chord is filled with a Unicode text string that has the coordinates of the mouse click inside parentheses. The string is then passed into the message box function which will pop up and display the coordinates when the left mouse button is pushed. The other string, which goes into the title bar, tells the user that the left mouse button was pressed. Now we can compile and execute the program, and if we click anywhere in the client area of the window, we will see a message box pop up with the coordinates of the mouse click. We can handle right mouse button clicks just as we handle left mouse button clicks. Add this code at line 152. Note that this code is the same as the code for left mouse button clicks, except that we have replaced the L's with R's here and here. If we execute the program now, we can click either the right mouse button like this, or the left mouse button. Either way, we pop up a message that tells us which button was clicked and where. Similar messages exist for other mouse button events like releasing a mouse button or double clicking, and all of these events can be handled similarly. This concludes the lesson.